What is good, y'all? It is your boy, The Shows, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Shows World TV. So I got a funny story time to tell you guys today. This was years back when I was doing my first job interview, okay? So if you like this video, please leave it a like, share it, and subscribe, okay? Make new videos for every Thursday, okay? And if you're already subscribed, hope you share with your people, like this video up, okay? Right? So let's just get into it, okay? waste no more time so this was back in 2008 and this was my first job in a, a friend had recommended me to his father for some contracting job yeah uh, his father has a company of and so it was on a Wednesday in 2008 in July those are the only details I remember as far as you know the technical stuff and I don't remember much else about that day except it was definitely at the beginning, we're in mid-July, sometime after July 4th, if I can say that much, okay? So let me set the scene for you. Imagine you were sleeping, and you knew you had a job interview for the next day, okay? And <laughs> so I hear this very loud, almost deafening buzz in my ear. So I see it's a fly when I get up. Of course, you know, if I see one fly, I'm like, all right, no big deal, right? But then when I'm looking around the room, I look at my, look at to the windows, the ceiling, the walls, the air conditioner, everything, everything has flies in it. It's just, I'm seeing a whole bunch of flies flying around, you know, the room. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's just in my room and I can control the situation. So then when I go out into the living room, when I go out into the bathroom, my parents room the kitchen there you know there's flies everywhere just flying around crazy just there's a whole bunch of flies I, I literally woke up to a house fly invasion guys this is crazy you know and I I'm like I gotta get ready for work I don't go, really got time to be you know worrying about this right now so as I'm getting my clothes on I'm practically swatting in the air at the same time you know multitasking over there because I'm not trying to have flies land on me you know so the interview went good i come back right you still have flies just all around in the house like i said so i was in i was in a real like anxiety slash panic mode at that point right so i'm over here desperately trying to figure out how i'm gonna kill all these flies because i just realized there's no raid spray in the house to get rid of these flies or anything right so I get a little creative, and so, <laughs> um, you know, at first I was using a bit of air freshener <laughs> to um, spray out the flies, and that only worked for a little bit, okay? So then I upped it up, I upped the ante a bit, you could say, and then I started using the hose on the vacuum, you know, the hose that, you know, picks up the dirt and the dust in the little corners of, you know, a room or anything. So I started using that around and, you know, going to the ceiling, the windows, like I said, and everything just to get to the flies. But then the thing that makes it more crazy is I'm still seeing more flies, right? So I'm over here trying to figure out where are all these flies coming from? So I don't know if you guys have these kind of windows in your house or nothing, right? But the windows we have, right? It's glass, but it's it almost is is tempered and, and hardened like plastic. You know, the, the glass feels more like plastic than anything else. And there was a mesh screen behind the top part of the window that comes down when you slide it down to open it up. But that mesh had broken off at some time because of a, a storm, you could say. Alright, so it's no longer there. So the only part was the window for the top, so now when I'm looking at the top window, I see that it was the window had pulled down by accident by the wind from, I'm guessing, the night before. And the same thing was on every other window in the living room, the kitchen, my parents' room, the bathroom, everything. Every top window, somehow, some way, was blown out with, with, with it being down, exposing the outside, and then the flies basically just came in. 
and it was just me in the house, you know what I'm saying? So it was so crazy dealing with all these fuzz at the same time. So once I realized what was going on, you know, I, I like I said, I didn't really have too much of a good resource to kill the flies instantly. So then I called my mama because she was actually on her way from work. This was like maybe like four in the evening, you know. And so I, I, I left her a voicemail. I said, can you just please get some raid fly spray so, you know, I can kill the flies because there's a whole bunch of flies in the house. And it's just, it's, it's a whole bunch of them. So luckily she got the message. She came home, gave me the the raid spray, and then you know, of course, I sprayed around in the room, living room everywhere, and I, I decided to just basically sleep out somewhere in the living room. And by the next morning, all the flies were dead, and so that was a relief. Cleanup was pretty easy um, for the most part, and. I just made sure from that point on that the top window stays closed because like I said, there's no mesh screen there anymore. So anything could just fly in. Now, I thought it was possible maybe that the flies had came in because they were trying to avoid the hot weather on that day. It was maybe like 90 or 100 on that day. I'm not too sure, okay? But I believe that's what happened. I could be wrong. If anyone knows why they might have came in, you know, because my room's pretty shaded for the most part. You know, I, I keep the blinds closed for the most part and, and the curtains to not let too much sunlight in, especially on a hot day. All right, but like I said, I'm not sure if that's the reason why. If anyone who knows about how flies work and whatever, you know, you could tell me in the comment section below what you think happened here. But I do know that flies are usually attracted to uh, dog poop on the street or garbage or rotten flesh like a stray cat that might have died or, you know, even a bird or something of that nature, okay? Um, but yeah, that's the end of my story time. My very funny and slightly crazy, cringy story time about... Basically waking up to a house fly invasion, man. You know, I don't know if any of you have any similar stories you would like to tell me in the comments below. But that was pretty insane for me. Because, like I said, it's never been too many flies like that in the house all at once. You know, hearing all that buzzing and everything. It was just... It was crazy. And to think this all happened because top windows weren't closed properly due to the wind and everything. So yeah, definitely made sure the windows were locked. But yeah... If you like this video, you made it to the end, you're subscribed already, thank you. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe, you can subscribe and, you know, get more videos from me. Hey, like I said, I make new videos for every Thursday, okay? And subscribe so you can get more, of course, and share with everybody, like the video and everything. And so, once again, it's your boy, the it's Shows World TV, and I will see you guys next time when I upload. Peace.